What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use special characters with Kenter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at using special characters with Kenter. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so special characters. What am I talking about? Unicode characters, right? So I've got a little example right here, a little degree symbol right here. So 42 degrees, you know, temperature or whatever. Uh, how do we do things like this? Now, there are just zillions of different special characters that you can use uh, in programming. Uh, but how do we use them with Kinter? That's what we're going to look at in this video. Now, special shout out to Mike, who sent me this question a couple days ago via email. And uh, I thought, hey, let's make a video about this. So uh, it's actually pretty easy. So it shouldn't take us very long to get through this. So what we want to do is, well, let's just jump in. Let's just create a label here. I've got a, a new program with our starter text in it, our starter code. And I'm going to call this unicode.py. And let's create a label. Let's call it my underscore label. Call it whatever you want. And this is a label and we want to put this in root and we want the text to equal something. And let's just make the font bigger too. So it's easier to see this So font equals and let's go Helvetica and let's make this like, I don't know, size 32 or something. And I'm just going to pack this on the screen and let's give this a pad Y of 10 to kind of smush it down a little bit. Okay. So what do we want to put as our text here? Well, to use Unicode, Unicode comes with codes, right? They're, they're numerical codes that you can use. And we'll look at uh, where you can find a list of them in just a second. But let's just do the, the 42 degree one thing. So I can put, uh, let's put some text here, 40, 42, 41. <laughs> and then we can concatenate. Now to use Unicode, you just type in U. That's not a U. There you go. It's Friday here in Vegas. So U and then a couple of uh, quotation marks. I'm going to use single quotation marks here, but I think you could use double quotes. Doesn't matter. And then you go backslash and because we're kind of like escaping out and we want you and then zero zero B Oops. zero zero B zero. Right. So this is the Unicode code. Right. And again, we'll look at these in just a second. So let's go ahead and save this and I'm just going to run this real quick. Unicode. And here we have 41 degrees and here's the little degree symbol, which is that Unicode thing. So super, super easy. You just have to, you know, stick a U in front of it and then escape out and put whatever you want. Okay. So what is this thing here? What is this, you know, letters and numbers? Where do we get that? Well, that's your Unicode code, I guess. And uh, you can Google this. So just go to Google and type in Unicode characters and there's a bunch of things. Let's just go to the Wikipedia one. And we can scroll down and we can see here's a bunch of them. And let's just let's find that degree one. Um, there's a copyright symbol. That's a fun one. <laughs> uh, what else do we got here? Well, let's just search. What was that again? That was zero zero B zero Oops, zero. There we go. And there's a little degree symbol. And here's how it's presented U plus 00B0. But notice when we actually wrote this code, we wrote it all together. So you're not, you don't want to put, uh, I don't know. Can you put that? Let's see. Uh, let's find this thing again. Where did it go? There it is. Let's just grab all of this and give it a try. So let's copy this. And instead of doing it this way, let's do it this way. Yeah, see, all of a sudden we're we're already getting messed up things. If we save this and run it, this is not gonna work. We'll try it anyway. No. So you always want to put these together and make this lower case, and then it works. So let's play around with this. Let's try a couple of these, uh, these other ones. So let's do this one. 00A9. That's the copyright code the copyright symbol. So we can just boom, paste that in like that. Notice lowercase u, save this and run it. 
and now we have 41 copyright right so uh yeah play around with this there are i mean actual reasons why you might want to use this like with the degree thing if you're making a weather app and you want to put the degrees the temperature in degrees here is a nice one this uh laqo it's these double arrows pointing that way there's also one down here uh, R-A-Q-U-O pointing that way. So think if you want some navigation, you want to create uh, a clickable button, and on that button you want to put, you know, go forward. Well, you would use these. In fact, hey, it's Friday. Let's do that right now. <laughs> so, all right, let's go my underscore button equals button, and we want to put it in root. We want the text to equal, uh, let's go U, and then pop pop and then inside of here we want to escape out and you like that and we don't need a command but we can go ahead and pack this guy and let's give this a pad y of 10 to smush it down a little bit save it let's run it break out of here and run it again and here you see this little bitty arrows you can't really see them very well let's see if we can play with this make this bigger <laughs> let's go uh, I'm just going to copy this font thing here. Go save this, run it. Bang, zoom. All right, so that's a little bit easier to see, right? So the little forward arrows, like, you know, if you've got a, a, a blog type thing and you want to go to the next post or something, or you wouldn't have a blog with Kinter, but you understand. You want to go to the next thing if you're doing a database thing in your Kinter thing. You want to, you know, click to the next record. You might have these arrows. So that's that way you can also use, we saw those other arrows, where was it right here, going that way, going left, I guess. So, you know, those are very useful. Uh, here's pound if you're doing like a financial thing or cents, right? So let's try the cents. So uh, we might want to say we've got something that is 42 cents, right? So we could put that in there, save this and run it doing some sort of financial app, 40, 41 cents, right? So that's fun. Like I said, all kinds of different symbols. And I mean, there's just hundreds. Oh, fractions, right? That's kind of, it's an interesting one. Fourth, half, three-fourths. Cool. Uh, all kinds of other weird things. I don't know what any of these are. Here's a little X. That might be useful to, to close something. Uh, what else do we got? And just kind of scroll through here and, and look and see if there's something you might want to use for something. There's not just these symbols. There's also little pictures somewhere. If we look long enough, we'll see like, I hear that's a, I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. What else? Another scent. Oh, no, that's a, yeah, whatever. What else? What else? What else? There's just many, many, many. Modified letters, small w. <laughs> I don't know. And look at this. We're not even close to going through even half of these. Oh, here's a chart. Interesting. All right. So very cool very kind of useful and really easy to do so that's all for this video if you liked it be sure to smash the like button below subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code youtube one to get 30 dollars off membership so you pay just 49 dollars to access all my courses over 40 courses hundreds of videos and the pdf versions of all my best-selling coding books join over 90,000 students learning to code just like you my name is john elder from codemy.com and we'll see you in the next video